Okay, our next model here is the Alte Scientific, uh, and it's a model of the uh, cochlear duct and the organ of Corti. Remember, the organ of Corti is the area inside the cochlea where we have transduction of, of, of sound waves into nerve impulses that can be understood by the brain. So, what you need to understand is there's actually three uh, tubes that are going on here, one of which is complete. There would be a tube up here, and that tube would be called the scala vestibuli, uh, or vestibular duct. And below it, we have the vestibular membrane right here. Uh, next below that is the scala media, otherwise known as the cochlear duct. And this is where the organ of corti resides. And again, the organ of corti consists of these hair cells that are going to be helpful in transducing sound waves into eventual nerve impulses. And finally down here, we have another duct uh, or tube called the scala tympani. And so it's important to realize that uh, these tubes are fluid filled and that as the oval window is pressed upon by the stapes, it forces fluid uh, through these tubes and fluid is non-compressible. And so what happens is we get vibrations in this membrane right here called the basilar membrane. Now the basilar membrane sitting on that is our organ of Corti. And the organ of Corti consists of these inner hair cells right here and outer hair cells right there. The hair cells are sensory cells which are responsible for transducing sound waves into uh, patterns of nerve impulses. Okay. We also have external and internal uh, what are called rod cells right here, and then we have supporting cells as well. Now the important thing to realize is as sound waves move through the scala vestibuli and scala tympani, they're going to vibrate that basilar membrane and those vibrations are going to cause our hair cells, the hairs on them, to interact with this membrane right here called the tectorial membrane. So that tectorial membrane will bump up against those hairs and it will start to create graded potentials uh, and then we're going to eventually form action potentials in the afferent sensory neuron, which remember was going to be our cochlear branch of our vestibulocochlear nerve.